With the digital revolution, information accessibility for the blind and visually impaired becomes possible. A refreshable braille display connected to a computer allows the user to read email and e-books, surf the web, and even write computer programs. Unfortunately, current braille displays are very expensive, from about $4,000 for simple models on up to $15,000 for full performance displays. This high cost puts braille displays out of reach for most braille users and even discourages the teaching and use of braille. Fortunately, a team of researchers in the Information Technology Lab at the National Institute of Standards and Technology have come up with a new way to make braille display that performs well and is much less expensive than existing braille displays. This new device is called the NIST Rotating Wheel Braille Display. Unlike other displays, which put the braille text on the line for the user to read by moving their fingers over the text, this new display puts the braille text on the rim of a rotating wheel. The motion of the wheel moves the text under the user's fingers. Braille was originally intended for a printed format, and even today there are several organizations that publish popular books in braille. Printed braille is far more bulky than regular text. A single novel must be published in several volumes and can take up half a bookshelf. Electronic braille displays offer much greater compactness as well as the ability to navigate through text. The NIST braille display can be especially compact. Because it uses a rotating wheel, there is no need to build the display long enough to show an entire line of text at a time. In fact, the entire display can be put into a case not much larger than a portable CD player, as shown in this engineering drawing. The user can hold their fingers over the wheel as it rotates, or can pause the wheel to read the text while it is motionless. The user controls include a knob to adjust the speed of the wheel, and buttons to move forward and backward in the text. Future commercial versions will include advanced user controls for navigation, bookmarking, and making notes. A computer program takes text from the source being read, translates it to Braille code, and sends it to the NIST Braille display through its serial port. In a commercial display based on the NIST technology, this custom program will be replaced with a commercial screen reader program. The NIST display technology is made possible by an innovation called the passive pin control system. Each dot in the display is made by a metal pin with a rounded tip that forms a dot when it sticks out of a hole in the wheel. As the wheel rotates, mechanical actuators set the selected pins to form the braille text. After the pins have been set in the correct pattern, the heads of the pin ride around the wheel in a set of tracks that keep them from moving in and out. This preserves the braille text in a readable form as it moves across the reading area. The tracks are part of a non-rotating insert inside the rotating wheel and are made out of a set of grooved discs clamped together. The maximum speed of the braille display is determined by the performance of the actuators. At the time of this video, the first prototype has been made to run at the speed of 30 words per minute, which is a slow to moderate rate for reading braille text. In the future, faster actuators can be used to build displays as fast as anybody can read. This research has been conducted in cooperation with several accessibility organizations, particularly the National Federation of the Blind, to make sure that technology will meet the needs of blind and visually impaired users. Braille users who have tried the latest prototype have reported a good level of readability. While a design is optimized for reading large text files, such as e-books, papers, and email, research is being conducted on ways to use it as efficiently as possible for reading structured text, such as tables. NIST is seeking to license the technology to manufacturers and is encouraging further research in other research organizations. The NIST Braille Display Project is part of the NIST Electronic Book Program. 
The Information Storage and Integrated Systems Group is part of the Convergent Information Systems Division under Victor McCrary, which in turn is part of the NIST Information Technology Laboratory. The NIST Braille Reader Research Team consists of John Roberts, Oliver Slattery, Edwin Mulkins, David Cardos, and Brett Swope. For further information, please check the project webpage or contact the project manager.